First Alert Forecast with meteorologist Chelsea Aaron. 48's Umbrella a Week giveaway is sponsored by Mr. Rooter, your locally owned expert plumbers for over 34 years. And yeah, Hurricane Barrel unfortunately continuing to wreak havoc along the southern coast of Jamaica. They're going to be dealing with life threatening conditions likely over the next six hours. But Hurricane Barrel will move away and start to weaken once it encounters stronger wind shear and also some of that Saharan desert dust. Now it doesn't weaken completely before it makes its way towards the Yucatan Peninsula and it could possibly restrengthen back to category one hurricane strength before it makes landfall again either in northeastern Mexico or along the southern tip of Texas. Now no impacts here locally in the Tennessee Valley. We're under a very high pressure dome and this is keeping us very hot and also humid. Live look across Huntsville this early evening where we don't really even have much along our 48 first alert Doppler. All of the rain today likely staying to our south and west, but we will be tracking better rain chances toward the end of the week. For now, all of us us just roasting low and mid 90s for your current temperature. But when you factor dew points well into the 70s, it really impacts how it feels to your skin. It's feeling more like 105 degrees in Florence here in Huntsville, 103 degrees and our highest number on the map that goes to you Fayetteville. You're feeling more like 107 degrees and this will be very dangerous conditions for a lot of you, maybe elderly children, your pets. Make sure you are taking care of all of them because this is not only the day we're going to deal with it, likely we'll see it through the rest of the week. Temperatures will stay rather warm after sunset tonight. Expect a few passing clouds overnight and into your early morning hours on Thursday when morning lows well above average mid upper 70s. Unfortunately, more heat humidity in the forecast for your Independence Day, but we could be tracking more in the coverage of shower and storms by the afternoon and evening. This is going to break the heat. However, it could cause some delays in your outdoor plants or maybe even those firework activities. Note, pick your poison again, they'll cool you off and note it's not going to be a washout by any means. The highest coverage of showers and storms will be arriving likely by Friday. We could have multiple rounds, one during the morning and possibly another later into the evening. And some of these storms could be stronger in nature, but right now I'm not tracking any threat for severe weather. Main threats with any stronger storm will be brief gusty winds, heavy rainfall, frequent lightning and also small pea sized hail. We will trend a bit drier heading into your upcoming weekend on Saturday and Sunday with high temperatures, maybe a smidge cooler, low 90s. However, we heat right back up heading into next week with additional chances for showers and storms each and every day. Right now, best chance for showers and storms next week look to be anywhere from the Monday.